Hey, this will be a video where I'll be talking about some of my favorite YouTubers. I hope you'll check them out for yourself if you happen to find their content interesting. Anyways, here's the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, tired here today. I'm gonna I think out of everyone else on this list, Mikasikas has got to be my most favorite. The content that he pumps out is really, really good, although his subscriber count is quite high, the views are little in comparison, and it honestly hurts to know that it is watched by so few people. For, for what it's worth, I really think that he deserves more viewership, which is why I think it's important to make him first on the list. Not that this video will help with that anyway. His channel is a variety channel, and when I say variety, I mean that with like a lot of weight and emphasis. To give you a bit of an idea, let me list down the kind of videos he posts on his channel. Okay, hold on. I just need to get a bit of a deep breath before I say this. Like, okay. You got video game analysis and review. Indicate a thought or idea, a moral or some kind of message to the consumer of a particular story. Some videos on philosophy, life, existentialism, and all that. You're gonna search to the ends of the world and back, trying to find some kind of purpose for yourself, driven by your own insatiable curiosity. Educational content-ish. The flying chocolate bird lizard Ket... Uh, Ketza... Ketza... Ketzal... Ketzal... Coatl? Has just delivered cacao to the people of Mesoamerica. I have to put a big question mark on that one. A creative and unique take on comedic videos. Check out his An Honest Review series and also the other absolutely random kind of stuff that he uploads like, but which new Pokemon would be the best president? Sudden twist of events, Pikachu would definitely somehow become the president. Pikachu has always been there, from the start, and is definitely the most appropriate Pokemon to become president. Pikachu is cute, Pikachu cares, Pikachu listens, is thoughtful, and is the type to volunteer just for fun. Pikachu has your back no matter who you are. All of this would make Pikachu the best president. There's also some good comedy sprinkled into the rest of his videos that aren't necessarily specialized in comedy. There's also videos about him and his opinions, videos on completely random topics like cake, and just him talking about life in general. He also got music analysis on both popular and the more obscure artists. He also does some analysis on video game OSTs as well. Speaking of which, he also makes his own music. I look deep and dig straight to the dome, cause finding what I'm looking for will send me straight to the stone. And uh, some of this kind of stuff as well. Now we're going to move into the two types of videos that I personally enjoy the most from him. The story that he writes. Yeah, he writes stories too, and aside from the quality in his writing, they're also really well narrated, and the selection of background and ambient music is also very soothing. It is hard to pick a favorite because there are just so many awesome stories, but if I had to pick one, I really enjoyed The Tiger. And yeah, how can I forget, he also managed to write and publish his own book and don't worry if you can't get it yourself because he narrated the whole thing and it's published on YouTube if you want to listen. Secondly would be the kind of video that talks about nostalgia. I think it's a really cool topic to talk about but no one really talks about it much. So when someone does it and they do it with this kind of production value, it's cool to watch. Currently, there's one talking about the nostalgia from having the last day of school and also about skateboarding because it was a pretty popular thing a lot of people did back a while ago, but that trend suddenly faded away. So really cool YouTuber, my personal best and it's all thanks to Hollow Knight. That's how I found out about this great guy. And Hollow Knight, that's my favorite game. Maybe I should talk about it more in a future video. Anyways, before I move on to the next YouTuber on the list, I'd also like to point out that most of his videos use this kind of pixelated art style and I think that's cool. 
Let's imagine that humans have just invented super-intelligent AI, so a computer that's self-aware and very clever. Well, that means it's time to play one of my favorite games, Genocide Bingo. Okay, second guy on the list, close second place, uh, Exerbia. Really great content, but a bit difficult to describe the kind of stuff that he makes. It's primarily about science and technology, but with a rather philosophical view on things. Mostly looking forward towards the future, sometimes optimistically, sometimes pessimistically. It is well written, also comedic, and he has really cool ideas about what the future holds for us and what it means to us. Aside from this, he also expresses some of his ideas and thoughts through writing stories. If you want to check that kind of stuff out, I would suggest looking up his video titled And Then Everything Will Be Okay. That's a really great story, I recommend. Aside from the stories he puts on YouTube, he has also published four novels, although one of them is more of a collection of short stories. I actually have a physical copy of one of those books given to me on my friends on on my, given to me on my birthday from my friends. It's the one titled The Prince of Milk. Again, it has a really interesting prospect and worldview. And recently, in response to the outbreak, he has kindly made all four novels free to download on his Patreon, no charge. Really cool, I have them all downloaded already, and I'm really excited to read them later on. Next on the list, uh, The Onion News Network. It is a comedy channel that is based around being a fake news anchor. Lots of sarcasm and satire involved, and I find it really funny. Interesting thing though, they started the channel about a decade ago, and they are doing things way ahead of their time. Their acting is great for the most part, and they have like a whole production crew with like sets, editings, and effects and all that sort of stuff. A lot of professional effort is put into making these videos, so it's cool to watch and see it. Let me list some of the video titles so you can get an idea of the kind of stuff that they make. Apple introduces revolutionary new laptop with no keyboard. Just press both sides of the wheel concurrently and center click in there. You have an alphabetical listing of every file on your hard drive. Everything is just a few hundred clicks away. Is our wealth hurting Africa's feelings? The main thing is we don't want to rob them of their culture, as you said. We don't want to introduce plumbing and electricity and housing and doorknobs because that's going to take away what it means to be inherently African. 911 conspiracy theories, ridiculous. If more How would you just like have the courage. it? If you spent, you know, two months in a in mountain caves, uh, sleeping on rocks, planning something really special, uh, only to have someone take the credit away from you. Say, oh no, you don't the deserve the credit for it. I think you get the point. These titles are some of my favorites. Now, the unfortunate part is that since it is a decade old when it began, I mean, you can't expect that sort of consistency unless it's like. The Simpsons, which has been going on indefinitely for I don't know how many years. So yeah, they're no longer producing the same kind of content that they, that they used to. I don't think it was too profitable, especially when monetization isn't sort of a thing at the time. But I think some point in time they ran out of money to produce the same kind of content that they used to, but not sure. But still, they have some recent videos here and there, and a website with satiric and comedic news articles too. Alright, everyone, help yourself to the luxurious resort of No Badman Island. Penguin Z0, or more commonly known as Moist Critical, is also a really good one for me. He uploads twice a day, mostly it's highlights from his stream over at twitch.tv slash moistcritical. I've heard that URL so many times over the past couple of years or so when I first started watching him. He also uploads other videos aside from his stream highlights. Now these videos can be so random. Sometimes he's telling personal stories and opinions on things. So tell me again about how you almost ruined Christmas with that fat shit. Other times it's him trying to exterminate cockroaches from his house. You're playing a dangerous game. 
I'm gonna smash your windows. <laughs> <laughs> opening Pokemon cards in the middle of a blackout because he can't record anything else when there is a blackout, inventing an auto-clicker. To the untrained eye, this device may seem to be an ordinary, simple children's toy designed to give toddlers hours upon hours of entertainment, but using the eyes of an advanced engineer, I was able to deduce the true purpose of this contraption, to give an adult hours upon hours of RuneScape XP training. I was able to redesign, repurpose, and re-engineer the toy drill into something holy, something biblical, something Jesus himself smiled about. I transmuted the toy drill into the world's most advanced automaton, the most incredible and intricate auto-clicking device. I am the Frankenstein, and this is my monster. Arguing with his dog? These are fucking awful! They're abysmal! Don't even bring up the story, that's the worst part. George Lucas on the verge of a Xanax overdose could write better than the Disney Star Wars. Anyways, his videos are minimally edited, no intro, no outro, so I love that even though he's not too serious about the production of his videos, it is still enjoyable anyway for many people. He also uploads a weekly podcast with three of his friends. Now, I don't listen to many podcasts, so I don't have too many on my repertoire. But the official podcast, that is the name of the podcast by the way, is by far the only one that I am able to consistently sit through in its entirety for each and every episode. And yes, I do watch it on a regular basis and it is the only one that I can afford to watch on a regular basis because I would fall asleep 50% of the time while listening to other podcasts. And I'm not saying that other podcasts are boring or bad, but it's just that you get tired at some point because of the extreme length. So it is impressive how the official podcast managed to make me ignore that problem. The podcast itself is great, like I said, they bring interesting guests onto the show. They got McAfee once, also Notch, the creator of Minecraft, and also a guy, I'm sorry I can't remember his name, but he went to federal prison for jokingly mentioning that he would shoot down a school on RuneScape. So you can imagine lots of interesting things covered here and there. And yep, there seems to be one other person on the list, and it's me. Okay, now that was a joke. Anyways, this list is really short and there are many more people that deserve to be on this list, but it's not possible to put them all here because if I were to do that, this video will be delayed for about a year or two. Anyways, I did put some more creators whose work I enjoy on screen and their details are there. Check them out. Okay, goodbye.